Hello everyone. We continue our series uh, in New Milton Evangelical Church's Thoughts for the Day. We're going through Proverbs chapter 15, but we've come to verse 16. Before we read it, let's pray. Heavenly Father, guide us, we ask, we Thank you for so many practical instructions here in Proverbs and we pray that this particular one will help us to weigh up certain contrasts and to take the right course of action. This we pray to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So this is what this short verse says. Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. And in the New English Bible, it translates better a pittance with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble in its train. So Solomon is actually writing a couple of uh, pithy contrasting proverbs in verses 16 and 17 and we shall look at 17 tomorrow. These are his opinions uh, based on the pros and cons of certain situations. Of course most people would prefer to be rich rather than poor but Solomon points out that great treasure may be accompanied with turmoil which of course no one wants. Let's remind ourselves that according to Proverbs, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, as uh, it's already been said in chapter 9 and verse 10. True wisdom in the Bible is from heaven and shows itself in moral virtues. This is according to James, in his letter, chapter 3, he says this heavenly wisdom is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. These virtues remind us of uh, some of the fruit of the Spirit. By the way, presumably Solomon knew something of great wealth with turmoil. He was a very rich man. And so he was speaking from the heart, no doubt, when he talked about this turmoil or trouble. When we think of people who win the lottery or uh, in other situations they, they gamble and win huge sums of money sadly how many of those people end up with broken marriages or alcohol problems it doesn't always follow but it often does by contrast someone has said that there is peace that comes from revering god that takes the edge off poverty so, do we really want wealth with worry? We finish with some words the Apostle Paul wrote to Timothy in that first letter to him. His alternative to the uh, outcomes of, uh, of riches on the one hand and godliness on the other. He states there is great gain if we have godliness coupled with contentment. And then he goes on and really be, shows some of the pitfalls of wanting to be rich. Firstly, though, he says, if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. And then he talks about people wanting to be rich and says those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil some people eager for money have wandered away from the faith 
and pierced themselves with many griefs. Perhaps you know of some examples. But for all of us, we have been warned. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, uh, we know that if we really uh, knew you deeply, uh, as the Apostle Paul says, godliness with contentment is great gain. Grant us all to know more of that, we pray, and not to be drawn away, enticed and tempted to want to be rich and get involved in all kinds of schemes uh, which uh, will end up in sadness and grief. We ask these prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.